In this video, we're going to talk about eight psychological tricks to create chemistry with your crush. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Impressing your crush can be a nerve wracking experience. We all desire to catch their attention and make a lasting impression. Fortunately, there are psychological tricks you can employ to increase your chances of success. We will explore six intriguing ways to impress your crush based on various studies conducted in the field of psychology. By understanding these techniques, you can enhance your interactions and leave a positive impact on your potential partner. Attraction is the most studied part of social psychology when we talk about love, and there is an undeniable relationship between attraction and love. Chemistry is an important factor to understand whether two people are compatible and if their relationship has the potential to grow. Whether it's physical, sexual, or emotional chemistry, it's a thrilling angle to figure out when dating. Looking for signs of chemistry on first dates? We've got your back. It's important to remember that not all first dates lead to a second date, and it's okay if things don't work out. Remember that even if you spot great signs of chemistry, first impressions may not be the last impressions. But first sparks of chemistry sure help things escalate from first date feelings to so much more. Learning the psychological aspect of attraction will help you find the true love you want. In this story, we will share a few facts proven by science that might be helpful when you want to attract someone special to you. So, here are eight psychology-backed signs to attract your crush towards you. Number eight, make an excellent first impression. Let me begin with an interesting fact. When you first meet someone, do you know they only need half a minute to decide whether to be with you? Did you think for a minute about why this happens? Researchers have found that you have as little as 30 seconds to make an impression on someone. After that, they will automatically decide whether you are an attractive one for them or not. They will probably notice your physical appearance, body language, mannerisms, and how you are dressed. To make an excellent first impression, you have to be ready. Now we understand the importance of making a great first impression, so try to present yourself in the best possible way when you first meet someone. Number 7. Good Conversations The first sign of any good connection, including chemistry, is good conversation. You both enjoy talking to each other, and the conversation comes naturally. There are moments of comfortable silence, but there are also plenty of laughs and shared stories. Research psychologist Amit Kumar shares in an article that for people to make stronger bonds, they need to take conversations beyond small talk. Number 6. A steady eye contact. Eye contact plays a big role in stirring up chemistry and attraction when you first meet someone. When making eye contact isn't forced and doesn't feel uncomfortable, it's a sign of good chemistry. It is because when we like someone, we want to know if the feeling is reciprocated, and nothing says they notice you more than making eye contact and holding it. It feels good because it's an unmissable sign of attraction and attention when someone looks at you while talking, or just because they want to look at you. Making intentional eye contact can lead to making an intense connection on first date. Number 5. There's mutual attraction when two people have a great chemistry. There is a mutual physical attraction and a sense that there is a free-flowing energy between you two. How to know if you have good chemistry with someone? A Reddit user states the importance of mutual attraction very clearly. For me, because I suspect it differs. There's sort of a static charge between us. Conversations and gestures become laden with meaning. We're drawn to each other, physically or otherwise. In a room full of people, we attract each other like magnets. This magnetic attraction will lead to a vibe so strong that it will be impossible to hide the affection you are feeling. Number four, teasing each other. Feeling comfortable enough to playfully annoy or make jokes about each other is another green flag. This means that you're both already feeling naturally relaxed and are in a good mood. It is also one of the developing signs of emotional chemistry. Although, keep in mind that playful teasing should be done within boundaries so as to not hurt or offend anyone. Number 3. Comfortable silences. You are comfortable with silence and don't feel the need to fill every moment with conversation. Neither of you feels awkward when things go silent 
and you easily come up with any new topic of conversation. Sharing comfortable silence while eating or listening to music or just being with each other are great signs of emotional chemistry. Number two, use the power of touch. As humans, touch can be considered one of the most crucial subliminal communication languages. When we touch someone, we connect not only on a physical level, but also on an emotional and psychological level. After meeting someone, do not touch them in a suggestive or invasive manner. You can try subtle things that aid in attraction without the other person noticing them. You may have noticed that women use this without thinking about it. Like during a conversation, they touch a man's arm subtly and briefly. When you're dating someone, it's a good sign that they're interested in you if they start touching you. Touch can help you connect more deeply with your partner and get a response from them that words can't. Researchers show that touch signals safety and trust and releases oxytocin, which we can call the love hormone. Number one, sexual tension. It is very hard to miss this among other signs of chemistry on first date. There is sexual tension between you and them that is palpable. You might suddenly want to touch their face, run your fingers through their hair, or wonder what they smell like. You might even end up kissing goodbye. Make sure it's all consensual though. There is something very instinctive about feeling physical attraction. You can tell that there is an undeniable physical chemistry on a date by what goes on in your head when you look at them. Yeti Suzetti on Reddit says, For me, chemistry comes down to whether I have any urge to touch them at all on the first date, whether I act on it or not. Do I want to touch their face or neck, run my hand through their hair, rub their hand or arm? If no, I doubt it's going anywhere romantic. Sexual or romantic chemistry can develop quickly and easily, and they may experience strong feelings of attraction toward many people. For others, it may take longer to develop a connection, and they may only experience chemistry with a small number of people over the course of their life. It's also worth noting that the experience of chemistry can be subjective and can change over time. What may feel like strong chemistry in the beginning may fade as the relationship progresses and individuals get to know each other better. So this is our today's video. If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel or hit the bell icon. We will meet again with another interesting topic. Till then, stay safe and stay happy.